Tesla introduces cheaper standard range variant for Model S and Model X. Tesla is bringing back the standard range variant for the Model S and Model X EVs. After the trim level has come and gone several times before 2021 when the refreshed flagship models hit the market in long range and plaid versions. Now, according to the Austin based manufacturer's website, the new entry level variant is once again called Standard Range, which is $10,000 cheaper than the regular version for both the Model S and Model X, but the diminished estimated range may put off some buyers who are looking for the longest possible driving distance on a single charge. With a starting price of $78,490, the Tesla Model S Standard Range offers an estimated 320 miles of driving on a full charge. With the standard 19-inch Tempest wheels, dropping to 298 miles when opting for the optional, $4,500, 21-inch Arachnid wheels. By comparison, the long-range Model S has an EPA-estimated range of 405 miles with the standard wheels. Tesla Model S Standard Range with Standard 19-inch Wheels Tesla Model S Standard Range with Optional 21-Inch Wheels The specs sheet says the newly introduced Standard Range Model S is powered by a dual-motor all-wheel drive system and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Compared to the 3.1 second of the regular Model S and the 1.99 seconds of the Model S Plaid. The top speed is rated at 149 miles per hour the same as with the normal Model S, while the Plaid, which has a tri-motor all-wheel drive setup, can go up to 200 miles per hour. The Tesla Model X standard range starts at $88,490 and offers an estimated range of 269 miles with the included 20-inch Cyberstream wheels. While the optional $5,500, 22-inch turbine wheels cut the range to 255 miles on a full charge. The mid-tier SUV costs $98,490 and has an estimated range of 330 miles with the standard wheels. Tesla Model X Standard Range with Standard 20-inch Wheels Tesla Model X Standard Range with Optional 22-inch Wheels Top speed is 155 miles per hour for both the standard range and the regular Model X, with 163 miles per hour claimed for the Plaid. While the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint is done in 4.4 seconds by the Model X standard range, compared to the 3.8 seconds of the normal trim and the 2.5 seconds of the Plaid. Tesla doesn't say if there's a new battery pack powering the standard range models or if they're the same as the long range version. But we should find out more when deliveries start next month in the US, according to the company's online car configurator. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. See the Tesla Cybertruck's full-width rear light bar in action at night. The upcoming Tesla Cybertruck all-electric pickup was spotted with its full-width rear light bar fully illuminated while driving during the night. As shown in a recent video published on X formerly known as Twitter by the user Allout Nikhil. Embedded below, the one-and-a-half-minute-long sighting reveals how the soon-to-be-delivered all-electric pickup's taillights will work and it's a rather interesting way of doing things. When driving with the lights on, the whole light bar is illuminated evenly. But when the driver hits the brakes, the intensity of the two outer brake lights increases and the center of the light bar makes way for the third brake light. Shutting off the surrounding LEDs. With the brakes on, the rear lights look the same as in a previous Cybertruck sighting. Where the EV was driving during the day, but this new video might be the first one that shows the light bar illuminated in its entirety on a production intent unit. Back in February, after Tesla enthusiasts complained online about the lack of a rear light bar on the Cybertruck, the company's CEO, Elon Musk, 
replied on Twitter now known as X and said that the production version of the zero emissions pickup will indeed have a red light bar. Now, with this latest sighting, Musk's comment from six months ago holds true. As a reminder, the American EV maker's first ever pickup truck was unveiled in 2019 and is expected to make its way to customers sometime later this year. Possibly next month, after years of delays. Currently, the Texas Gigafactory is assembling release candidate RC units. With multiple prototypes undergoing testing in the United States as well as in the snowy South Island of New Zealand. Where several Cybertrucks are put through their paces at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Grounds. Alongside the updated Model 3 Highland, as revealed by previous spy shots. When it reaches customers, Tesla's truck is expected to be equipped with four-wheel steering. An adaptive air suspension system the company's latest hardware 4.0 driver assistance system computer, and a front trunk. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. Tesla cuts prices in China on Model Y configurations. Tesla is cutting prices in China on its Model Y crossover by as much as 4.5%. The automaker's Model Y long range and performance configurations both dropped in price. The long range is now starting at 299,900 yuan, $41,291, and the performance configuration is now starting at $349,900, $48,176. The drops are by 4.5 and 3.8%, respectively. Tesla also noted that it would offer 8,000 yuan $1,101 subsidies on Model 3 vehicles. This discount will last from today until September 30th, and will qualify for the rear-wheel drive configurations of the vehicle. Tesla has slashed prices frequently this year, with most cuts coming during the first few months of 2023. However, Routine adjustments have been a strategy the automaker has used to fend off competition and stimulate demand in various regions. After a weak performance in China in July, Tesla may be looking to help drive up interest from consumers in purchasing the company's vehicles. The automaker sold 64,285 wholesale units in July, an over 31% decrease from June. However, the cuts were not unexpected. During the recent Q2 earnings call that occurred late last month, CEO Elon Musk said that price cuts would be on the table for Tesla as it continued to put pressure on its margins. Musk believes it is worth the potential margin squeeze if it helps the company make and sell more cars. It appears this strategy is what the company is going with moving forward, at least for now. I think it makes it does make sense to sacrifice margins in favor of making more vehicles. Musk said on the call. If market condition is stable, I think prices will be stable. If they're not stable, then we would have lower prices. Yes. The move also solidifies analyst opinions that predicted the automaker would continue to cut prices. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla has slashed prices by one-fifth in one year. Tesla has slashed its prices by one-fifth in a single year, according to a new set of data from Kelly Blue Book. While electric vehicle transaction prices as a whole have improved by roughly 18%, KBB tracks average transaction prices and how they compare to the previous month and the same month from a year prior. Tesla's average transaction price in July was $54,660, a 0.8% improvement from June $55,105. But that is nothing compared to how much the automaker has improved since July of 2022. A 19.9% decrease in transaction price as July 2022 saw Tesla sell for an average price of $68,215.
is the most drastic change across the major automotive companies, according to the data. The second best decrease in price came from Honda, which saw a 2.6% decrease in average transactions from July 2022 to July 2023. Electric vehicles as a whole also continued to drop in average transaction price from month to month at 0.4%, just below the industry average of 0.7%. However, over the past year, EV prices have dropped 17.9%, going from $65,108 to $53,682. KBB writes in its press release of the data. EV prices continue to fall, once again led by market leader Tesla. In July, the average E versus ATP was $53,469, down from $53,682 in June and down from more than $61,000 in January. Incentives for EVs in July were 6.7% of ATP or $3,755. E versus ATPs are down more than 19% from their recent peak of more than $66,000 just a little more than a year ago in June 2022. Tesla started 2023 with massive price cuts that helped the automaker put pressure on industry rivals like Ford, which also cut prices in an effort to remain competitive. Tesla reduces Model 3 and Model Y prices in the United States. The year-over-year -year decline of E versus ATPs has been led by Tesla slashing prices on its popular models. Research manager for Cox Automotive, Rebecca Radzewski, said, Tesla prices are down nearly 20% versus a year ago, and other EV models, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning, have been following Tesla's lead. While automakers report losing money on electric vehicles, they continue to aggressively pursue EV growth strategies. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Alleged Tesla Model 3 Highland Parts photos show redesigned dash door cards. Multiple photos that appear to show interior parts of the upcoming facelifted Tesla Model 3 Highland have been leaked online. Giving us an idea about what to expect in terms of design from the refreshed all-electric entry-level sedan. The images were posted on X formerly known as Twitter by the user Shoutishushu and were subsequently deleted. Apparently at the request of the parts supplier who asked for them to be removed. But Drive Tesla Canada managed to download them and post them online again. As previously reported, the Model 3 known as Project Highland is expected to be a much simpler vehicle overall in terms of manufacturing. Using fewer and bigger parts to lower the production costs as much as possible. This approach can be seen in the photo that shows the current front door card at the top and the purported Highland door card at the bottom. Alleged Tesla Model 3 Highland Interior Parts Today, the Model 3 has a piece of wood trim or white trim at the top of the front door cards, which extends the similarly colored trim found on the dash. However, looking at the leaked image, there will no longer be this design piece on the Highland Model 3. Instead, the door card appears to be much simpler, with an ambient lighting strip at the top and a new fabric material. Furthermore, the large speaker at the bottom left corner appears to be complemented by a new, smaller speaker fitted above it, possibly a high-frequency tweeter. Below, you can see the current Model 3 dash panel on the bottom and the allegedly redesigned one at the top. Putting two and two together, it looks like Project Highland will ditch the wood or white trim entirely. Seeing how the upper part of the dash extends downward and has a never-before-seen full-width cutout. Alleged Tesla Model 3 Highland dashboard at the top and the current dashboard at the bottom. We don't know what the cutout is for, but if we were to guess, we'd say the climate control vents will somehow be integrated there, as there are two big oval holes in the supporting material underneath the shiny plastic. 
Another photo shows the 18-inch arrow wheels that were spotted a while back on a prototype. But these may be knockoffs, seeing how they were posted on Shenyu, which is the Chinese equivalent of eBay. The listing read, Highland's new Tesla Model 3 wheels in the third quarter of 2023. The new 8901, no bargaining, strong direct auction. Purported Tesla Model 3 Highland Aero Wheels for sale in China. The Tesla Model 3 has been in production for six years and the so-called Project Highland will reportedly come as a sort of mid-cycle refresh. Bringing a redesigned front and rear, the company's latest hardware 4.0 driver assistance computer and multiple manufacturing improvements that should make it easier and more cost-effective to assemble. Production of the facelifted Model 3 has reportedly already started at the company's Shanghai Gigafactory in China. With the Fremont facility in the United States allegedly next in line to start assembling the EV. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS.